today time for a small reaction video regarding the Boo Arab. I was uh, commented that the Boo Arab was just a cross between Greyhound and Blue Terrier and then crossed back to a pointer so that would be half English pointer, a quarter Blue Terrier and a quarter a Greyhound. And that was the cross and then they depend on the terrain if they would cross the shorter legged dogs with each other or the longer legged dogs with each other. That was uh, the entire ranch and that I had uh, to breed wrong. Okay. First of all, let me mention that indeed uh, pointer blood, bull terrier blood and greyhound blood has found its way into the bull arab. Point given and I was never uh, doubting that. But then again, the bull arab is just a working mongrel. And as, as, as I mentioned, the running dog was introduced, for example, greyhound. Bull blood was introduced, for example, bull terrier but also bull mastiff and other sources depending on what type of dog they want and also hunting dog blood was introduced being point or other type of hunting blood but if you look at the name bull arab so bull could be from especially bull terry but also other sorts of bull for example the bull mastiff that I mentioned or other Sometimes the source of wool could even be uh, Great Dane blood. It's not all, the only source of wool then, but if they want a bigger dog, even Great Dane could be used. Then the Arab part. As you might have known, you have a different type of running dogs, but the Greyhound is an English running dog. Whereas the Arab stands for different types of running dogs from the Arabian countries. For example, the Sluti that I mentioned, which is an Arabian running dog. And also the Sluti is known to have uh, even greater endurance than the Greyhound has. So on longer stints, or crosses between Sluti and uh, Greyhound, often have a better way of crossing longer distances. And that could also be beneficial. That being said, of course, the Greyhound, which is a premium running dog and the fastest of all, has found its way. It's the same as you find in the UK, where they have their bull greys uh, as uh, premium lurches. So that uh, was a little bit of an example that I wanted to give to you. Have a great day and enjoy the sunshine. That's coming. There you go. The dog on the leash is a petted ulterior.